Hello everybody, it's Jonathan again. Um, I know I haven't made some, made any videos in quite a while, but I have been very busy. Very, very busy. Um, I have gotten HDMI output working on my FPGA SNES. I guess that's the, the number one thing. And that's actually what you're seeing right now. Um, not only is HDMI working, so you can see HDMI output right here, uh, but I've also got HDMI audio working as well. So the audio you're hearing is coming over the HDMI. So I've got audio and video coming over a single HDMI cable, and it really, really looks good. So this is just, I'm showing you this on 480p. Um, it'll also have 720 and 1080p. That's that's pr actually pretty easy now. Um, the hard part is just getting the HDMI interface up and running and getting it configured properly. But yeah, it looks really, really good too. Um, it plays beautifully. Um, the image is really crisp. And uh, now, again, I'm. <laughs> I know if people have complained about this, but. I'm only recording on uh, I think 20 FPS or something um, and that's just to keep the file size down otherwise these videos would take forever for me to upload but um, it is very 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 good um, I was just gonna go ahead and maybe play uh, for, for a little bit the other thing that I've gotten implemented is uh, I also have analog audio out uh, I have SPDIF out um, and I plan on adding a few more outputs as well. Um, I've also ported this to the uh, DE10 Nano Mister um, board, which is really cool. And that's actually what I'm playing on right now. So, but yeah, I mean, it's it just plays perfect. It looks so good. I've had it hooked up to my uh, my 70 inch television and it looks amazing um, <laughs> even at 480p it looks amazing so um, I was gonna show you a few other games I was gonna show you um, let's see what is it uh, I'm gonna show you Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2 really briefly somebody wanted me to uh, demonstrate this video or this game So let's let this run the intro. They wanted me to demonstrate it because this is one of the very few games that actually uses direct color mode and it uses it throughout the entire intro. Basically, if you don't have direct color mode support, you basically won't see anything. So this is direct color mode. So I'll just let this run. So that's it, um, and then I was going to maybe demonstrate, I don't know, I kind of like Wolfenstein just because it's really nice and pixely.
So yeah, I just I have this uh, the HDMI interface hooked up to my capture card. The input's still like it's a little bit laggy compared to when I just because I've had the HDMI interface hooked directly up to my desktop LCD and my. My desktop computer LCD and also my 70 inch television. And I mean, there's no lag there. It's just laggy because it's coming through the capture card. Um, so I wanted to play uh, Earthworm Jim 2 just because it's got some really nice colors. Yeah, it looks so good. And then I was going to play... Well, it's, it certainly looks way better than the, the VGA analog output that I was recording on or capturing with. I mean, obviously, but... And it looks even better when it's not coming through the capture card. So yeah, uh, HDMI SNES is is uh, really really nice. Um, there's still a lot of work, um, not really not really a lot of work in the emulation because that's done. But um, I want to add some more. Audio video interfaces. And still want to add like cheat code support. And just kind of random stuff like that. But, but it's coming together really, really nice. And I also wanted to post a video because. <laughs> It's been a really, really long time, and I didn't want people to think that I wasn't working on it anymore. Trust me, I work on it pretty much every single day, um, without exception. So it's just a lot of work to get a lot of these interfaces going and get it integrated into the design. And the Super Nintendo is just—it's so complex. Um, there's a lot of things that I have to consider when I add new features, so... Because I don't want to break something, or... <clears throat> um... I think that's probably... Probably it. I just wanted to demonstrate a few games, so... But it works really, really good. And, uh, yeah, I was so, so stoked when, when I saw, <laughs> when I saw my LCD monitor sync to the HDMI output and I saw Super Mario World running. So that was really, really cool. So, so I am still working on it. I'm still adding features and, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I might be able to, uh, get this 
to you guys. Um, I have a lot of options, so I've been I've been thinking about a lot of stuff, and uh, um, I am working on it. So I know you guys, I know you guys want this really bad. So I'm working on it, and uh, I'll be. I'll be bringing you bringing you more info in the near future, so just uh, hang tight, and uh, I will talk to you later. Okay, all right, bye.